welcome back. So today's video is going to be just one eye. I want to take my time and just do the one eye. Um, it is not St. Patrick's Day yet, but that is tomorrow. Today we're going to a birthday party that is green and uh, St. Patty's themed for someone who was born on St. Patty's Day. So this is my shirt here that I'll be wearing. So that was the inspiration behind this deep green smoky thing I've got going on. Let me get you a little closer so you can see it. It was really fun to make. So I um, primed my eye using my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, and then I used uh, the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette shade called Spread the Love. It's just that peachy shade. And I used that up as a transition shade, and then I used the shade Extra Creamy and Bananas from this palette, the white and the goldish color, as um, my brow bone and inner corner shade. And then I had to try several different products to get the lid shade exactly how I wanted it. So I'm going to repeat the same steps that I took the first time, but I'll just let you know, like, this first shadow didn't do anything. But I want to make sure I repeat it in case it did. Um, this is the Sigma eyeshadow in the shade Midori, and it is a bright green. So I'm using the Sigma E55 eyeshading brush. Um, I got this as a free gift. So, I mean, it's fine, but I was kind of underwhelmed with the green. I, it looks so perfect in the pan, but when it actually went on, I was like, yeah, that's okay. A um, little underwhelmed. So, I'm like, okay, next. Then I used the Buxom eyeshadow in the shade Twilight Tryst, and that's that deep green right there. Um, it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, I just went in with the same brush. This one kind of reflects brown, so it really deepened up the green shade a little bit. But it was, um, it was still really pretty, but I was like, no, I can do better, right? So then I kept looking in my collection, what do I have, what do I have? And I went ahead and went into the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and used the eyelid shade that was this bright green. Now, it's pretty too. They did reformulate this recently, I hear. But after all of that, I still was just like, why can't I get this lid shade right? I mean, it's nice, but it's just not there. And then I came to it. Do you guys ever do this? Is it just me? L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. This is the shade Golden Emerald. You can kind of tell here. It is kind of loose, so I don't want to tilt it. That is the color I was looking for. See that? Yes. Perfect. I finally found it in my collection. And um, I tapped that on. This was like the magic. This was exactly what I needed to like make this lid shade truly perfect. So I added that. And do you see how pretty that is? Oh, I love it. Then I went in with um, just a, a domed brush almost. And I used um, the Buxom shadow, shadow called Hot or Yacht, Y-A-C-H-T, just a deep dark brown. And I put that as like the V shade on the outer eye area. I just kind of like drew, ooh, drew a V. I gotta fix that. Oh, good. And that really deepened it up. And then I went back and blended with the initial peachy color. I repeated a lot of those steps. I just went back in with the lid shade after all that blending and refreshed it. Brought it back up and then I went back to the outer V with the deep brown. And I kind of go back and forth with those colors until there's balance. You know, it's enough darkness there in the outer V so that I can see it, but not so much that I feel um, too dramatic. So I just keep blending and blending until I have it exactly how I want it. And then I went in with a liner that's also green just for fun. It's the Kat Von D ink liner in the shade Bukowski. B-U-K-O-W-S-K-I. And it's like a forest green liquid liner. Um, and I like this because I didn't you know, I could have done a pencil, but this one just seems so fun. I rarely reach for it. And in actuality, it doesn't come off that green. But it's not as dark as a black either. So I thought it might soften the very bold look. So I'm just doing a slight wing out here. 
don't even know if you can see that, but um, just a slight little wing with the green. And then it's time for some lashes. I'm using the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, the hot pink one. Um, and I think with a couple of coats of this, it really makes the look pop. And I was going to pop on some fake lashes, but I just don't think I need them. Um, I think this look is dramatic enough with just the shadows that I don't need to take it up another notch. If you guys want to know how I did my hair, I actually filmed a video. These are day two curls. You can see. Um, I filmed a how to curl your hair with a flat iron and how to make your curls last three days. This is 24 hours in after sleeping overnight in it. Pretty dang good, huh? Um, so yeah, I'm just doing one more coat of the mascara. And another thing you can do if you really want the eye look to pop is you can apply like a setting spray, spray it onto your brush when you do the lid shade and that'll add more of a metallic look to it. Um, and also you can emphasize the lower lash line by um, tight lining with a bright green liner um, or even just rubbing some green um, shadow underneath the lashes there to make it pop. But I think I'm going to call it good here. I just wanted to spend, I guess what, seven minutes talking about um, the one eye because if I do a full face, I just don't have time to like, you know, really get into a more diff difficult advanced eye look. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you found this fun. You can do the same thing with purple, with blue, with doing that same combination of steps with any color on the lid and I think you will be pleased with the results. Thanks for watching. Bye.